Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video on my channel here. Now in today's video, guys, I'm going to bring you another gameplay. Today's gameplay was a really, really good game between me. I was the New York Giants and my opponent was the Green Bay Packers. If you guys don't know, it was a rematch technically of the 2016 NFL playoffs in the wild card round. It was the Giants Packers. Packers ended up winning that one. But today I'm going to be showing you guys this gameplay. Now what I'm going to do first. First is I'm going to break down some of the pregame adjustments I made, like my depth chart, so you guys the playbook, and then also show you guys what uniforms I use. Now, guys, quickly, though, before we do get in the video, want to follow me on Twitter, link is down below. Also, if you guys want to check out my Discord server, you can go and access it down there, as well as the sign-up link for Discord if you guys don't have an account. And then if you guys want to check out my two most recent videos, they are going to be in the top right screen right now. And if you guys want to join the channel, it's $5 a month, and you're going to get access to full written-out Madden guides. You're going to get shout-outs in my videos, as well as early previews in my videos. Now, the shout-outs today are going to go first to... Uh, Nola G and then second to Crystal. They bought my nickel 335 ebook on my store, which is redzonetips.ga. If you go there, you'll go to the schemes tab and it'll be right there. But guys, without further ado, let's go ahead. Let's move into the pregame adjustments before this game. Okay, guys, so here we go. I'm going to be showing you guys the gameplay. So basically, what we did here. This is the pre-game adjustments. We're just going to quickly do this right here. We're going to rock with this. And let me just do some of my audio settings. So this should be good. So what we're going to do here, just going to turn my mic off. Don't want any, uh, any like echo. So I think we actually got to turn this up a little bit. Let's try zero decibels. And actually, yeah, that might be a bit too loud. Let me go down to like negative three. Should be good. All right, so basically right here, we did use the Giants. I first, what I did was I did an auto reorder right before you see. This is who I have. Now, this isn't really important, but we're going to go here. Rush left end. I do have Dexter Lawrence right there. That was Leonard Williams. Leonard Williams in my rush right end. Rush DT is Dalvin Tomlinson. Sub linebacker, I actually have Logan Ryan, Julian Love, and Colbert as my sub linebackers. And then in the slot, we are playing James Bradbury. Slot wide receiver is Darius Slayton. And then my kick and pump returners were Golden Tate. And then I ended up subbing in Xavier McKinney at free safety. Now, in terms of this right here, we are rocking with the Las Vegas offensive playbook. Defensive playbook is the 4-6. Dark uniform is the is the classics alternate. And then classic color rush is my away uniforms. And I did schedule this as a night game. Now, what we're going to do here, we're going to actually turn off my overlay. Because I actually want you guys to see the score of this game. And also, you know, actually, uh, do we want to rock with this? Uh, let me quickly go. We're going to go to window capture real quick. Make this just a little bit bigger. Actually, no, that's fine. We'll just stick with this. So basically right here, it took us about 20 seconds to find a game, but we eventually did. And let me just do a quick transition. And this is probably the best we could do. So basically right here, it took us about, I think, 20, 30 seconds to find a game. And we ended up matching up with this dude. And he was using the Green Bay Packers. Now, this was a very, very good game. And let me just quickly, I'm going to skip to the game if I can. So actually right here, about 40 seconds. So I sort of lied to you guys. But here we go. We are going to load up into the game right here. And there he is, man. This is Lambeau Field. This is the Giants versus the Packers. And you're going to see here we start out on offense. And this is our very, very first drive. And we see we do a little ID the mic. And we're going to run the ball with Saquon. He gets about five, four yards in that play. I really like that look. I usually run like a predominantly no huddle offense. Because that way it catches your opponent out. And it really does not give them a lot of chances to make the adjustments. Next play we're going to run a screen play. You're going to see Saquon Barkley ends up getting up field here. He ends up juking out Adrian Amos. And gets a first down right there for eight yards. Next play right here. This was... I believe a, actually no, this was an incompletion to Sterling Shepard. You're going to see, look at this man, Jair Alexander, this is what Acrobat does, man. Acrobat, he basically dove right out there and took that ball right away from me. But now it is a second down and 10, so what I do is I block the running back to lay fade the tight end. Just a really basic setup right here for PA boot over, and I end up going with this. We're going to hike the ball, 
and you're going to see the rush comes actually, actually very quickly, but we do a very nice job of playmaking Sterling Shepard to the sideline, and we end up getting a first down on that play. Now what I do is I actually set up my gun, bunch, my, my gun trips tight end offense. That's another offense I will use. If you guys want a video on one of the plays in an ebook, let me know down below. I will definitely drop that for you guys. Th that's like my secondary offense I like to run. If I like to run a passing offense, then that's usually my second call or my backup. So here we go. First down and 10 now, Saquon going to go right up the field. Gets about, I believe that's like four or five yards. Now it's a second and six. And when I do try to run the ball again. I do try to catch this, catch this guy out because I'm like, oh, I really like the look of that last play. I run it though. You're going to see we end up getting stopped here and we actually lose a yard. Now it's a third down and seven from the 50 yard line. Going to run Piebu over again. Kind of going back to the wishing well a little bit. Go with a little delay fade right here. And then we end up going with an ID the mic right there on Zedarius Smith. So we're making a lot of adjustments. I put Sterling Shepard on a slant and then I motion him out to the right side. We're going to hike him right here. And you're going to see right here the pressure gets in actually, you know, decently well. I try to go with a lob pass to see Golden Tate on that crosser because if I threw a bullet pass, that would have been an incompletion. But unfortunately, we are forced to punt in this situation. And I'm actually going to decrease the audio a little bit. We're going to go about negative six and a half decibels. So here we go. We're going to punt it right here Riley Dixon does an amazing job we end up pinning him at about the nine yard line so very very good job by Riley Dixon to really pin him deep so that's my coaching adjustments right there as you can see what I do is I turn auto on all right so I'll explain this so what I do I turn auto flip off auto alignment on base I do option defense on conservative flats on five yards curl flats 20 yards that's what I'll usually run right there now I am setting on my audibles for nickel 35 wide and then I'm actually gonna audible down now this was the weird thing you you saw how I set my sub linebackers before the game for some reason they did not show up out of nickel 35 I don't know why they did not show up like none of them did so I was actually using Blake Martinez this entire time you're gonna see though that we actually end up only giving up about three yards or four yards on the play but I go back and I'm like oh that's really odd so what I have to do is I have to make subs now in the game which I really don't like doing but what I do is I I have to take out Logan Ryan, so I actually call a timeout on this play because I'm like, all right, what's going on here? So what I'll do, I call a timeout, and I go to 3 the 5 wide, go to free safety. I'm going to sub in Xavier McKinney like I had it before, and then you're going to see Logan Ryan's right there. Go to middle linebacker, sub in Logan Ryan right there. So now he is playing middle linebacker. And then also what I'll do is I'll go to 3 3 5, and I'm going to audible down a little bit, and, and I'm actually going to go to 3 the 5 wide, and I'm going to run this. And basically right now I have two linebackers playing – in those spots, which I don't usually like, but what I did was threw that left linebacker into a three rack, and you're going to see right here, it goes with the screen pass. We actually do a decent job of stopping this. Those saying Divinez, unfortunately, not really the fastest of players in the game, but you're going to see right here, we're going to go 3-3-5. Three, three, we're going to make some subs. So I sub in Julian, or actually what I do, I sub in McKinney. Then I go put Logan Ryan in middle linebacker, and then I end up at this linebacker spot. I put Julian Love, and at the other linebacker spot, I end up putting Colbert once I do get the chance. So here we go. I mean, this is definitely one of the weirdest things I've done because usually when I make adjustments in the game, they will stick, but you're going to see it goes with a nice run right there. We only give up about like two, three yards, but unfortunately he is going to get the first down because of it. But now we're just going to quickly go to 335 make some subs so at this at the other linebacker spot we're gonna play colbert at number 55 mayo is gonna get replaced with colbert so now the adjustments are set now we are all rearing and ready to go so he's gonna come out and single back dudes close on this play right here we have about a minute and 30 seconds left on the clock so he goes to the little boot action play and I believe, so this is the play right here. You're going to see he gets pressure. He's going to end up trying to throw the ball, but we end up getting a user pick. Logan Ryan gets the pick. And you see now we are on the 23-yard line. So very, very good play right there. Now, in this situation, I actually go to set up my little run scheme that I have out of I-form H tight. So basically, I'll just show you guys the audibles once they get done here because I don't quite remember. Basically, right here, in the audibles, I have power O is my first audible, halfback stretch is my second audible, halfback ISO is my third audible, and then my fourth is PA scissors. And I and I always come out with halfback blast, which is the wide play selection. This honestly, this run scheme, man, very, very good. Now, obviously, I do have Saquon Barkley too, which does help things, but you're gonna see here we're gonna run to the left on this play. Gotta make some adjustments, and I see, hey, I don't want to run towards Zadarius Smith. He's a superstar ability player. So we're gonna run away from him here. And then also I believe he users off to the right. Now he's actually 
using the left linebacker. We're going to sort of catch him out. Kirksey goes the wrong way. You're going to see Saquon breaks the tackle. Great block thrown right there. And you see we're actually going to get in for the touchdown. And Saquon Barkley, amazing job right there. He ends up getting in. And we're going to simulate. So he gets up to about the 21-yard line with Tyler Irvin. Now, this is the real swinging point in the game. I don't know what it was, man. But this guy was dotting me up, bro. You're going to see this drive. It was like a three-play drive, I believe. It was very, very short. You're going to see I'm trying to make all the adjustments I can. Because he's really sort of running me out. But you're going to see that he actually makes a decent read right there to Robert Tanyan. Right there on that corner route. I really thought that we had that covered. I usually, I what I did was I went down to cover the running back first. And then I worried about everybody else. Next play, though, first down and 10 from the 37. Basically, he goes with this uh, corner route by Aaron Jones. He ran really stock plays, but he was able to make the best of it. Got right over the cover three. Don't really know how that happened, but you know what? You know, we live, we learn, but this was a very short drive by my opponent. He did an incredible job. His offense was on point. Pretty much after that first pick, his offense was on point. You're going to see that we do an amazing job here, but unfortunately, he throws on the run to Aaron Jones, and he ends up getting down to the six-yard line. I was very frustrated after that. I literally put this dude in a snuggie, and he gets base, and he gets completion off of it, which was nuts. But you know what, man? It's Aaron Rodgers. What can you really expect? And here we go. First and goal. He's running gun trips. Tight end offset, I believe, was the formation. I'm using Jabril Peppers right here. I end up coming down. You see we actually stop the run. He loses about a yard on the play. Nice defense there by me. And he actually ran a read option. So definitely very, very good by the defensive line. Next, he run gun, gun tight, offset tight end. And we're running, I believe this is another... Um, man, coverage set, you're going to see he makes a dot to Robert Tanya, man. He made an absolute dot. I really thought he wasn't going to be able to fit that in and notice it. But he makes a really good read. That's going to be a touchdown. And now the game is tied up with 425 left in the second quarter. So here we go. We're running this right here. We're first going to run inside zone on a bunch because I like the set he's coming out in with that one linebacker on that far left side. So... Here we go. Now we're going to snap the ball pretty soon. You see right here that we end up going to the outside. Saquon only gets about two yards. I thought it would have had more real estate, but we do go with the hurry up offense, man. It's honestly such a great offense, bro. I love hurry up, man. I love doing it, and it's just honestly become habit. But you see right here, we're going to double team Kenny Clark. ID the Mike Zedaria Smith, and we're going to go to a quick dump off right there to Sterling Shepard. Completely shakes Preston Smith out of his boots, and it's going to bring up a third down in inches. Now in this play, we're going to run the run scheme. I form H tight, and we're going to come out with halfback blast as we usually do. Now in this play, we're going to audible down to halfback ISO because I saw that his play, his defensive line wasn't pinched, but then once. I saw was pinched. We're going to audible down or going to audible up, excuse me, to halfback stretch. You see, we just follow our blocks, do a very nice job. And Saquon, I really thought he was going to get out here, but Darnell Savage did a very good job of coming over and stopping that play. But Saquon having a very good first half so far. Six rushes for 60 yards and a touchdown. He is really carrying the team on his back. Now, what I was trying to do here is I was trying to do the glitch where if you basically go through your play call and you do it multiple times, what will happen is it will basically like regen your players but it didn't really work in this situation so we're gonna run next play is gonna be inside switch this is one of my favorite plays out of this entire gun much china and offense i mean this is a great play now i was originally looking at slayton but then i saw evan ingram man what a dot from daniel jones and he were able to get down to the 15 and he ran a cover three hard flat we were able to expose that and got a very nice completion on the run by danny dimes so here we go this is a first down and 10 now from the 15 and we're just going to, I believe, flip the run to the left side. We're going to ID the mic, his user. And then, yeah, so we ID the mic, his user. We're going to run to the left side. We're going to hike it. You're going to see that we got a really good block right there. Saquon's going to get down to the two-yard line. I'm like, you know what? I actually really like this scheme right here. I'm really, really liking what we're running. So here we go. He actually pinches his offensive line. And we're going to audible to halfback stretch right here. We're going to run it to the right. We catch him off guard. And we end up getting the touchdown again. Saquon Barkley so far. Two touchdowns in the first half. Dominating performance by him. And, I mean, it's kind of like the Packers run defense in real life. They really can't stop anything. They couldn't even stop a nosebleed, as famously said by Bart Scott. Now, they're right there. He hit me with a great in route by Devontae Adams coming from that backside. I was actually trying to go over to cover that, and unfortunately, it just really didn't materialize. Now, it's a two-minute warning, though. Second down, or it's a first down and 10 from the 48. We're going to run Mike Blitz 3. We're basically mabling both sides. We shade over the top real quick, and you're going to see that once again, man, Devontae Adams is killing us in this game so far. 
makes a great makes a great throw right there and he was just running stock plays but he was able to basically like or at least it was stock plays now this one he really caught me out on because basically i was trying to cover Devonte, but you see right there he gets an easy ball over the top and that was an easy six now here we go this is the first down and 10 from the 24 and we're just trying to work our way up the field because if we can get seven points before half that would be huge because he is getting the ball in the second half so here we go first play we're gonna run Peabu over very very simple setup right here nothing really too basic you're gonna see that we are going to actually go with the delay fade one of the first times i've done that and we're going to throw to evan ingram second down and one now we're going with the same offense and sterling shepherd holds on to the ball we're going to call timeout now we get a nice nice fresh set of downs now in this play we actually go to trips tight end this is usually my big air attack offense that i use if i got to get a lot of yards but basically on this play we're running p accounts or go I simply just go double team and ID the mic, the two superstars, and drag the X receiver. So just a simple setup. You're going to see, though, that I'm going to throw this ball away. He honestly had really locked down coverage. But now, like, right when I realized, you know, right after that play, I'm like, oh, I probably could have put the X receiver. I could have just playmaking him back on that drag. And that actually would have probably been a completion. And unfortunately, I didn't do that. He really kind of locked me up right here. I mean, the Packers are actually not a terrible team because they have very very good coverage but you're going to see right here that we're going to lob this ball up we had him in ingram man unfortunately though the feet just do not get in bounds right there but we would have had him we would have been in field goal range and even more but now instead it is a third down and 10 so we're going to run this right here and i originally was going to go for a screen pass and i actually do go for a screen pass but basically we're going to roll out you're going to see saquon barkley trying to cut up field as much as he can great shifty moves and this sucks because jarnell savage just barely got him inside of the numbers now we're also going to run another play with saquon you see he's actually on sedaria smith this time and he actually does end up getting me in the backfield so now it's going to bring up a second and 15 and you're going to see that i could have had that flat originally it could have had the curl but i decided to go run the ball and you're going to see that daniel jones is going to get hits i really was shocked it didn't fumble that and now that is the end of the first half so now we're going to move on to the second half he does have the ball Right here, he gets a return up to the 21. Usering Logan Ryan, who's a great user, by the way, and Rags if you're looking for a good one. But basically right here, I we actually cover everything on this play. But you're going to see Aaron Rodgers. He's going to roll out. I don't know what Dexter Lawrence was doing, but he literally Aaron Rodgers was right in front of him, but he did not tackle him. So that was a very frustrating thing. I'm like, Dexter Lawrence, man, you could have made a play. You could have sacked him on that play but now it's going to bring up a first and 10 from the 33 gets about 12 yards on the scramble and we actually do a decent job of covering right here and pretty much everything is covered on this play there's really nothing open you're going to see once again though i mean he gets time in the pocket mark his valve is scantling is going to get the ball and at this point i'm like all right come on you're literally giving him everything game like this is getting a bit ridiculous like literally every pass he's throwing he's completing and it was very frustrating for me, man. You know, in the early stage, like when his offense was getting started, it was a very frustrating thing. You're going to see though, we actually cracked down on the run. Adrian Colbert does a nice job attacking him, attacking him while engaged with a defensive lineman or offensive lineman. But it's going to bring up now a second and 12. This looks similar to Trey White flex, maybe a flipped one. You're going to see, man, I don't know how he fits this throw in, but you're going to see, I mean, what, let's watch that again, man. I mean, I seriously don't know how he did this. So you're going to take a look right here. So when he throws this ball, we have a defensive back. So I don't know. Can you, I don't know if y'all can see my cursor and I don't think you, I mean, actually no, y'all can. So basically right here, you see, we have a defensive back right here. And then later in the play, we have a defensive back right here. For some reason, none of those guys decides to make a play. <coughs> None of those guys decides to make a play. Aaron Rodgers throws it perfectly over. And I'm like, okay, bro. Like, you got to be serious right now. Like, he's literally getting everything at this point. And this was honestly really frustrating for me. And you're going to see he quick hikes me again. And we actually do a decent job of covering this time. And I thought, bro, that should have been a user pick, man. That really should have been a user pick. We would have had that. But unfortunately, he ends up getting the first down because of it. So at this point, I'm like, all right, you got to be kidding me. But he's actually going to make a very nice back throw right there to Aaron Jones. But we do tackle him for only a gain of two yards. So we do a very nice job of stopping that little hitch, hitch route by the running back. It's almost like doing a delay fade. You're going to see here, though, we're going to use the safety. We click off. Nice tackle by Jabril Peppers. Only gets about a yard. It's going to bring up a third down and seven now from the 12-yard line. One minute left to go in the quarter. You're going to see we cover very well. And he almost completed that pass. And when I tell you, bro, 
you would have seen another side of me if he had completed that you would have seen another side of me man i mean i don't know how that wasn't like almost like an under pressure throw you're gonna see man he has a guy right in his face and he fits it into Aaron Jones. Like this dude was throwing a lot of a lot of balls in a traffic, and he was completing it. But you see here, it's now fourth down and three. Go with the double hard flat. You see he ends up getting me there with Tanyan. Does a very nice job with that double stick right there. Once again, plays I don't usually see online. And then Aaron Jones is gonna run it in for the touchdown. And I'm like, okay, man, we need to step up this offense. This is time. We need to clamp. And we need to do as as good of a job as we can because, in my opinion, man, we should have had at least two, at least one pick on that last drive. But unfortunately, we did not. Now we actually do a very good job here because I see that there's basically nobody covering that right side after I motioned Shepard over, so we end up going with that. And then we're also going to run a little inside zone with Barkley here, just a very simple one to get the first down. I was literally spamming A at this point. And you're going to see, well, actually, he does not get the first down. He's like an inch short. So we're going to run this on third down. You see, we go with an ISO. And I was like, okay, man, if Kenny Clark breaks a double team, I don't even know what to do. Now, here we go. Once again, we're going to make that throw in the flat to Sterling Shepard. And he actually jukes a man. And he's going to get up to the 50-yard line. Saquon Barkley goes to the little inside zone down to the 40. 11 rushes for 88 yards and two touchdowns. I mean, Saquon Barkley is carrying this team's offense on his back. Now, this was a very frustrating thing for me man I mean look at that he literally was running right into his offensive lineman Barkley he gets off of him and then Daniel Jones pulls a Cam Newton and throws it right at his feet so as you're imagine, imagining right now I was very very frustrated with that I thought we should have had a completion easily and we would have been able to turn up field probably for like 10 like or like at least five yards now you're gonna see right here i really should have tried to throw that to evan ingram earlier but we end up getting the completion regardless here at the 12 yard line and even if he had gotten that interception too he would have been out of bounds so that's a big thing daniel jones man let me tell you what it was very hard playing with him because he would constantly either overthrow or overthrow or be inaccurate with the ball and I can't stand that. So, Giants are not great because of Daniel Jones, but, like, their defense is shut down, man. They got a lot of good players on defense. And here we go. Saquon Barkley going to break to the outside and going to get an easy touchdown, and we don't celebrate right here. So, now Saquon Barkley has got three of the 20 or 21 of the 21 points right here scored, and we're going to make the extra point right here. So, now we're going to sim. He ends up taking it for a touchback, and now it's going to be a first down and 10, 337 left to go in the quarter in the game and this is where the big plays are made you're gonna see man i should have had a pick right there he made a really bad and accurate throw and we and we should have had a pick but you're gonna see right here once again he's gonna run oh, actually no wait never mind i'm pressing back by accident but here we go we're gonna run a cover four show two does a very nice job of doing the screen pass but you're gonna see we end up getting him down right there he only gets about four yards he's gonna bring up a third down and six now we're gonna run a cover three where we mabel both sides with the linebacker and the defensive lineman you're gonna see that we actually sort of bump him uh, Devonte adams and we end up going down for the user pick 255 left Logan Ryan gets his second pick of the game, and now we are rolling. I'm like, oh my god, bro. Like, this is it right here. You're going to see we bait him on that route, and we come down and we get the pick. Now, you're going to see, man, look at the block that Sterling Shepard tries to throw. You're going to look at this, bro. He's legit on Preston Smith, who, in, in fairness, is a really good edge rusher. But you're going to see, man, I mean, he just, like, he shrugs him, like, off like he's a freaking six-year-old. So, I'm like, okay, that's odd. But here we go. Saquon Barkley, we're actually going to throw into the flat right here to Sterling Shepard again. I mean, sometimes he just doesn't obey the flats, and we are getting easy completions right now. And you're going to see now it is a third down and eight. Two-minute warning does strike. And at this point, I'm like, all right, man, we need to score something on offense. We're either getting a field goal at least or a touchdown, and you're going you're gonna to see, guys, Third down and eight, he ends up pressing his DBs, running inside switch. Look at that, bro. Saquon Barkley, all of the real estate in the world, we end up we end up trying to do a stop and go. And he's going to get down to the nine-yard line. So I felt really confident after that. I ran a cover two man, must have not played man coverage on Barkley. Now it is a first down and goal, though. One minute and 28 seconds left. And the Packers run defense, let's see if they can really stick up here. And be better against Saquon Barkley. We're going to motion Sterling Shepard over. We're going to hike him right there. And you're going to see, man, we're going to break to the outside. Saquon Barkley is gone for the touchdown. And four touchdowns now for Barkley. Massive, massive play. And now... 
Here it is, man. This is the moment that we all live for right here. 28-21 in the fourth quarter. A minute remaining. Can A-Rod drive the team down? First play right here. He runs a pump fake. He beats me again with that little cover three beater. I don't know what that is, bro. It is a damn good cover three beater, though, man. I was I was trying to pick up on that as much as I can. If you do play a hook curl there, I believe that does stop it. It's going to bring up, though, a first down and 10 once again. He snaps the ball really quickly. He's going to throw to Devontae Adams and Leonard Williams. I'm like, Leonard, man, you should be trying to play that as much as you can. 39 seconds left. He is down to the 28. It's going to bring up a first down and 10. You see, bro. We really could have had a pick on that play, and that could have ended the game. He got very lucky with a pass breakup. Second down and 10, though. From the 28, you see here Logan Ryan play, or actually we're playing really good coverage. A-Rod's going to roll out, slide down to the 18. It's going to bring up now a third down in inches, and he really should have called a timeout in this situation. And he does, and I end up doing it because my defense wasn't set. But this dude should have called timeout immediately after the slide. And when he, and he could have got possibly eight more seconds. So here we go. Third down in inches, you're going to see right here, he's going to dump off right there to Aaron Jones. And now he's on the 11-yard line, man. This is it. This is for the game. And I went, I put my curl flats on 15, swatted the ball, wouldn't have got the playoff. So here we go. This is the last play. We're playing a little bit of man coverage. You're going to see I'm trying to cover everything. He's going to throw it. Alan Lazard's going to slide down, and we stop him at the three-yard line to win the game. <coughs> so... Guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you did, smash a like or smash, smash five likes, man. Really hectic game right there. Sa Saquon Barkley carries the squad in this one. But guys, hope you have enjoyed. Take care. Most importantly, stay classy.